Hey guys, today I want to talk about nosebleed syndrome. Now a lot of you guys probably have heard about this before, but some of you haven't back in the States. Nosebleed syndrome over here is when you're talking to a Filipino and you're talking too fast like I am right now, they they don't know what to say. They, we call it no, they call it nosebleed. I'm getting nosebleed from listening to you because you're talking too fast. And we don't usually don't understand what they mean when they say this. And, oh, I'm getting a nosebleed. It's like, oh, are you okay? You know, like if, if you don't know that term, but that's what it means. It means you're talking too fast, basically. A lot of times, they don't want to be rude, and they don't want to tell you that they're getting nosebleed. Like, you'll walk into McDonald's, or you'll walk into um, SM or, or, or a restaurant, or you might ask somebody a question on the street, and they're looking at you like, you know, like a deer in the headlights, and they, they don't know how to answer you because you've talked so fast, and they might pick up a little bit of it. I remember talking with a, um, a city councilor here in Tracy, uh, I was sitting down having a conversation with him. He invited me to sit down with him. And we were sitting at the park here where I do my walks and stuff. And um, he invited me to talk to him. So I sat down and we were talking. And I, I usually talk pretty fast being from Boston. But um, he says, oh, man, I'm getting nosebleed. I really never heard that much about that before, what it meant. And then I kind of caught on what he was talking about afterwards. But, I mean, that's what nosebleed is. And I remember having lots of conversations with people in the past when I first got here and at first I thought well maybe they're from the provinces they don't understand English that much and I usually walk away you know what I mean because I think that maybe they're not that smart or whatever and it isn't that they're not smart it's that you're giving them their brain too much to handle all at once it's like somebody talking Spanish to you and you understand Spanish but you don't understand everything so when they're talking you're trying to switch it over to English as they're talking to you. Well, that's what they're doing a lot of the times. They're switching it over to that, that Tagalog, you know, English to Tagalog in their in their minds. They're trying to figure it all out. And you have to give them the time to process that, that, that um, the, the language difference. And some people here, you know, they probably think both in English and Tagalog. My, my girlfriend, she talks English really good. She, and you can talk to her at any speed and she fully understands what you're talking about. And the same goes with, with my little boy here. And um, also with um, with 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 my my girl here, uh, she understands really good. And then we have the other girl too. She um, she kind of lacks in under, understanding, and she doesn't speak a lot of English at all. She kind of understands what you say, but sometimes she gets lost if I talk too fast. She gets the the nosebleed syndrome, you know. So when you're talking to people here, when you first get here, learn to slow down, take it down a notch, you know, and and. You'll, you'll, you'll see that more people are understanding you. Otherwise, when you get here, you start talking fast, or, or maybe you got a southern drawl, or or maybe you, you got like this uh, southwest thing going on, or whatever. You know, the language might sound different to them, and it might throw them off, especially for the southerners that have the real deep southern drawl. They have a hard time understanding that a lot, more so than the Boston English. They understand it really, really well here. Most of the people have told me that they can understand me the best of anybody from the United States, people from up north, in the northeast. They, they just tend to understand us better. You know, um, I'm not sure why. Maybe our English is just comes a, 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 across a lot clearer or whatever. But they say that people from down south, they have a really, really hard time understanding them. And that's that can be a little bit rough, you know, with, with y'all, y'all come home now. You know, like, you know they, don't, they don't know what you're talking about. They have no clue. And, you know, like we know all that lingo because we've heard it before they haven't heard it so even when we joke about it sometimes or when we tell jokes they don't get our jokes sometimes because of the fact that they don't they don't they just don't get the gist of it like we do like i could tell a a, a lot of jokes over here and they'll look at me cross-eyed like i don't get it steve I'm, I'm sorry i must have missed something you know like they they just don't get that type of joke but as you as you live here and as you learn things over here you'll you'll understand why you'll understand more of 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 the way things work over here and just take it easy slow down you'll you'll learn on how fast you can speak to these people most of the time when you go into mcdonald's slow down your order you go into jolly bees slow down your order you go into kfc slow down your order talk slower and sometimes they'll interrupt you and they'll do the the the, the natural add-ons that they do at mcdonald's and that throws them off sometimes too because they'll say would you like would you like to get an apple pie with that and it's like no 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 i just want this here you know what i just told you and then they'll repeat it back and they'll have 15 things on there or something it's it's like because you, you either you went too fast or there's a misunderstanding and sometimes 
you just get somebody that's just not that swift, let's face it. But most of the time, it's nosebleed syndrome. It's speaking too fast, you're moving too fast, your lips are going too fast, and they're looking at you like, like whoa, 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 slow down, you know? But they're, they're, they, they're, they're too kind to say, slow, slow down. You know, they don't, they're afraid to, to um, be rude or something. They think that might be rude to slow you down. Oh, sir, can you slow down, please, a little bit? They, they, for some reason, they're afraid to say that. I'm not sure why. I think it's a cultural thing. They don't want to insult you or whatever. But do it yourself. You know, when you go in there, just slow down. You'll be fine. I did want to talk about that. I had somebody write to me asking me about that. They sent me an email and said, Steve, you should talk to uh, talk about nosebleed syndrome because of the fact that um, a lot of the people over here get it from us. And it is true. They do get nosebleed syndrome from us, from us talking too fast. Anyway, guys, I did want to touch on that. I thought it would be kind of a fun subject to talk about. And you guys can add in anything you want in the comments on this here. Um, and, you know, it's more than welcome to put in there, and I'll, I'll put it up for you guys. Okay, God bless, guys. Take care.